Hi there, and welcome to the video. I thought it was about time I did another sales roundup and shared a bunch of stuff that has sold recently on eBay. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nick. I am a reseller. I buy stuff and I sell it on the internet, ideally for profit, and that's how I earn my living. So this is gonna be, a, as I said, a sales roundup. I've picked out a bunch of stuff that hopefully will be interesting. I've tried to pick out things that you may have seen in haul videos or sourcing videos. You may have seen me picking up this stuff while I've been out and about, or it's items we shared in hauls. Um, so I'm going to do a slightly different format here. I'm streaming this direct into iMovie and I'm gonna lay the photographs over the top. So let me know if you think this uh, format works better. Um, so let's crack on with it. So the first item here is this genuine vintage 1970s stroke 80s. I wasn't sure on the date of this. Coca-Cola tray. You may be able to see it says not available to sold. Now we didn't have two of these. Obviously it's a unique used item. Um, but we sold it and then it wasn't paid for. Um, so we opened a like non-paying bidder thing and we got our fees back and then the same buyer bought it again on offer both times he made an offer of 16 pounds the same buyer bought it again and then failed to pay for a second time um anyway so the second time uh, we relisted this we just added one quantity back onto the listing if you see what i mean so it says two sold but we've only sold one this time it's sold to a subscriber called ricky so thank you ricky if you're watching um yeah nice thing uh, I paid 50 pence at a yard sale for this uh, vintage Coca-Cola tray. As you can see, a fair amount of wear. Um, you can't take enough pictures of an item like this. You might as well take lots of pictures and that will describe the condition way better than you can with words. But I'm happy that that's gone and was paid for this time, so thanks for that, Ricky. Um, yeah, it was getting frustrating with the uh, original buyer of that. So next we have this. Now, this was on the same yard sale trail thing as I picked up that Coke tray. Um, this was a lovely, lovely item. I was really excited when I found it. I really thought it would have some value, but I wasn't, wasn't expecting it to have this much value. As you can see there, it was listed at 99.99. Um, I actually took an offer of 80, which I was happy with. Um, it was priced up at, I think, six pounds at the yard sale, um, but we got a bunch of stuff from that store. Um, a load of crockery and other bits and bobs. So I think I ended up paying four or five pounds for it, um, but really happy. As you can see in the later pictures here, um, it had been partially started some of the pieces had been really nicely painted as you can see um, so obviously I declared all of that took as many pictures as I could to show the parts that had been worked on um, and it sold it sold really quick so very happy with that so look out for these uh, model kits uh, this was made by Bandai I don't think I've sold a Bandai one before but yeah great pick up that really happy Next, now these are the infamous phones. I picked up a job lot of phones, again on a, like a jumble trail, yard sale trail thing. When we went up to Walthamstow, I got these 10 phones um, for 20 pounds. There was loads of other stuff with it, loads of like modems and routers, and these all had power packs as well. It turned out that the phones were admin locked and for love nor money, I couldn't find a way of unlocking them. So I sold the phones, as you can see, for £30 with free shipping. So after the shipping and fees come off this, I'm roughly getting my investment back of £20. I'm happy with that. And if I go on to the next item, you'll see that... So that the phones uh, that I just showed you got the £20 back, let's say, and then the accessories that I started selling off are going to be the profit. So this sold... This again says not available to sold, if you can see there, because the first buyer cancelled and then we just added one back to the quantity. Um, but we didn't have two, we just sold the one. So that went for 30 free shipping. That's uh, this Draytech 
wireless router. Um, I've also now sold, I think, four of the uh, power adapters for the phones at £10 each. And a little BT modem has gone as well for a tenner. So the, the deal wasn't great. It was one of those where, yeah, when I found out the phones were unusable, um, I was a bit miffed about it, but it's it's I've managed to turn it around and I'm going to make some fairly good money in the end. So happy days. Next we have this. This again was from the Walthamstow yard sale trail. This is a sound relaxation machine. You may have seen it on one of our Sunday haul videos. You press the buttons and it makes like little noises of rain or birds, woodland noises, and it has a really creepy setting which is a human heartbeat. Um, but it's meant to help you relax or go to sleep. I actually got this for 20 pence, and as you can see there, it sold for 15.99 with 2.99 shipping. So, yeah, happy with that. Quick and easy to do. Um, yeah, recently I shared that I, I picked up a bundle of rave and jungle and club um, cassettes, um, and. I thought they were going to be good and they turned out to be good. Within 24 hours I'd sold £100 worth of these and I think I got the box full for a pound or two so they owe me like 10p each. It's crazy. Um, one buyer bought the three I'm about to show you so this Mickey Finn one. Uh, it's that I took an off one of 20. Uh, this DJ Trickster Jungle Mix uh, he paid 15 on and this JJ Frost intelligent drum and bass, not quite sure what intelligent drum and bass is. Is that in contrast to the Daft drum and bass? I don't I really don't know, not my bag. Um, but yeah, so 50 pounds all in, so it's 20 and two 15s. Yeah, fantastic, really happy with that. And they all went to the same buyer. Uh, and we sold a bunch of other ones, like I said, we sold 100 pounds worth within a day and yeah, amazed at those. So keep your eyes peeled for these are all from the 90s. Um, they're not barcoded, so I don't know if they're like kind of bootleg, unofficial, or they were just sold through the clubs, or or they were part of tape packs, or or what. I'm not really sure, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled for those. Next, this is the only one of Andrea's sales I'm sharing. I usually don't share Andrea's stuff. Um, I'll let her do sales roundups, but. This kind of blew my mind. I remember Andrew picking this up and I thought it was hideous at the time. I kind of love it now because we managed to sell it for £50. It's a vintage 80s hand knitted oversized turquoise cardigan mohair blend. Um, as you can see Andrea is hot on her keywords. But yeah, ugly as hell if you ask me, but £50? I can't remember what Andrew paid, it probably wouldn't have been any more than 2 or £3. Amazing. It's amazing what people will buy. Um, but like I say, that's, I think, the only one of Andrea's items. Uh, if you're new to the channel, Andrea's my wife. Uh, she resells alongside me um, in our business and she concentrates on clothing and shoes. Next, uh, recently at like a church sale, I picked up this Kenwood Chef glass blender jug and this uh, mincer attachment. Uh, paid a pound each and they sold quick. Uh, if we go back to the liquidizer jug, as you can see there, $24.99 free shipping. Now this is a, a really vintage one. I think it's from the 60s. It was in its original box. The box was bashed up. Um, but yeah, so worth looking out for. And we got £15 free shipping on the mincer. Um, as you can see the pictures there just to, to show the fitment and everything and show some close-ups uh, to get an idea of the condition. Really lovely condition this. So yeah, very happy with those. Didn't stick around for long. Uh, this was gorgeous. I loved this. I did drop the price to get the sale. I think I first had it on at 60 or maybe even 70. I might have dropped it twice. Um, it went in the end to a local guy who popped around and picked it up and he's actually going to use it himself he wants to get back into writing or get and he wanted to use a typewriter you know go old school 
So I love that, that this is actually going to be used for its intended purpose. As you can see, I took loads of pictures to show all of the detail on this, and it was just a really gorgeous thing in wonderful condition. So very happy that's gone to somebody local so I didn't have to ship it, and somebody who's going to actually use it, which is great. Next, I thought I'd share this because I chose that as the lead image, a close-up. What this is, it's a Harry Potter um, Hungarian horntail dragon. I just noticed I didn't put Harry Potter in the title, which is very odd. Um, but it sold and it sold fairly quick. I got £20 free shipping for this. One of the reasons I chose the close-up as the lead image was it didn't photograph well when you when you had it laid out and you got all of it in. It's a very kind of odd shaped thing. And the lead image I chose um, I thought worked so much better and it had much more impact. And it did the job because it, it sold quick. So yeah, very happy. I think I paid a pound for that at the boot sale. Um, it's it's a Warner Brothers studio tour from the London tour. Um, that's where that came from. Next we have something a bit different, a Lakeland electric pie maker. Again, you may have seen this in a recent haul. We got this from a yard sale trail thing. I can't remember exactly what I paid. I think it was three or four pounds. And that sold very quick. Stuck it on for £24.99 free shipping. And yeah, quick sale, which is always good. Now this is interesting, worth looking out for. What this is, it's an official Microsoft high definition AV pack for the original, so the first Xbox. So if you pick up an Xbox bundle, check through the cables. If you've got this, it's worth splitting it out because you know, it's worth more than an original Xbox console. I mean, I got 60 pounds just for that lead and that was only on a couple of weeks. So yeah, well worth looking out for it. As you can see there, Xbox high definition AV pack. If you can remember that, um, then yeah, grab them if you see them. Next, I love selling Duplo. Recently, well, I say recently, a few months back, back when we had nice summer weather, I picked up a massive box of Duplo. I paid £10 a lot. It had loads of baseboards in it. Sold them all now. I thought I'd just share one of these sales. These weren't in the best of condition. That had a few squashed studs. Um, so I bundled the four together and got £30 plus shipping, which was still pretty good going for those. Um, they're... Not the most sought after colour. You can get these in green and red, which I think do a bit better. Um, the grey ones aren't as sought after, but yeah, happy to get those moving uh, for £30 plus shipping. Next, now, if you're new to the channel, you may not know I picked up, well, Andrew and I bought virtually the entire parts store from a Hyundai dealership, a garage and we have thousands of car parts. They're still ticking along. This was one of the better sales recently from that. What these are, they're the little wheel balance weights. That These are self-adhesive ones, so you'd stick it to the wheel to balance it uh, when you have new wheels put on your car. And it was a box full of, these things weighed a ton. That's, it's a t pretty small box, but it was so heavy. I think it was like eight or nine kilos for a little sort of, six inch long box it was crazy um yeah so i got 60 pounds free shipping on that um very happy on average it works out every item from the car parts haul owes us about a pound or less so as you can see some cracking profit there next oh this is actually a sale to another subscriber uh, selena bought this if you're watching thank you so much I hope you're enjoying it. And I thought I'd share this because there is a market for these. I mean, there's not a lot of age to it. And it's just a pretty basic portable CD radio set player. Um, but as you can see, I listed this at 22 99 which is the kind of top end for these. Uh, it's a fairly good make. It's Grundig. Um, 
And yeah, happy with that, 22.99 plus the shipping. You can't take enough pictures. You might as well use up, you know, all 12 and just show every angle. Um, it's a lot easier to describe your item with photos than it is with words. So next, well the next couple are media. I still do a lot of media. It's getting harder and harder to make money on media though. Um, I was pleased this was a good pickup because I really, I just took a punt on it. It wasn't barcoded, I couldn't scan it or anything. I didn't look it up at the time. It was at Jumble Sale and their DVDs were, now let me think, five, five for two pounds. So what's that, 40p each? Um, yeah, this was Flight of the Blenheim, so it's uh, like sort of from setting up the plane through the whole flight and then landing and all of that stuff. Um, something a bit unique and different and it didn't stick around for long and I got £10 free shipping on that. So yeah, happy with that one. Likewise uh, with media, this is one to keep your eyes peeled for. This is, you can get, I think it's a six DVD pack of the whole of Live Aid, all of the, the, the artists and their whole sets. That's worth some really good money still. This is just like edited highlights on one disc and even that sold for, as you can see, $29.99. But yeah, worth keeping your eyes peeled for. As I said, media is getting harder and harder to make money on, but if you know what you're looking for, you know how to spot the gems, you can still do well. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. I think this was a boot sale find. Uh, I paid, I believe, 50 pence for that one. So final item. Uh, is this now this is a lost world jurassic park thrasher uh, and what that means is you, you actually wiggle its tail and the head and torso thrashes from side to side and it's an official jurassic park dinosaur and there's a big collector's market for these this one was from the 90s 1997 uh, i paid i think it was two or three pounds it's it is in a boot sale pickups video and yeah I was blown away with that 59.99 there is money in pretty much all of the Jurassic Park figures I've recent did I sell it I've either recently listed or maybe I sold it already a little one that's only about five inches tall and that's on for I think 13 pounds but yeah really chuffed with that Amazed, so look out for those uh, uh, Jurassic Park figures. Right, and that's it. Hope that was interesting. Uh, I hope you liked the the way I've done this. Um, I just think the you should see the photographs in better quality. You should get those in HD doing it this way. Whereas when I kind of live stream these through Streamyard, the picture quality tends to be quite terrible. Anyway, I will leave you there. Drop me a message below, let me know what you thought, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.